So what is it about Star Trek that you love? Oh, um, the message. Um, every episode has a, a, a hidden message behind it to, to live life better. For, um, uh, basically, I think it's the most important television out there because each message, uh, each episode does have that hidden message. So, yeah. Can you think of an episode that you particularly love? Uh, on Voyager, my favorite is um, Timeless, which is the 100th episode of Voyager. Um, that's pretty much all Ensign Kim episodes, so I love it. Yeah. And what is it about being an actor that you love? What made you decide you wanted to act? Um, I love entertaining people. Um, uh, specifically, I like make, making people laugh, so I didn't really do a lot of that on Voyager. <laughs> it was so serious. So, um, you know, in a perfect world, if I could do a sci-fi comedy, that would probably be um, my dream job. So you so. love sci-fi? I love sci-fi. I don't love comedy, so I want to do both. I want to do sci-fi <laughs> and comedy. Yeah. yeah. What, what about the least favorite thing about being an actor? Is anything that you don't like? Mm, the hours are long. Hours. Yeah. And um, sometimes the politics that you have to deal with, some of the people, you're like, er, like some of the producers. <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's, um, it's not bad as a job. So yeah. obviously Star Trek isn't going on anymore, so is there any upcoming events that you are into? Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of voiceover work lately. So yeah, I did Star Trek Online, I reprised yeah. my role there. So um, I did an episode of uh, American Dad also. So yeah, so you know, a few things here and there. Pretty good things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, are there any talented actors that you just loved working with when you were on Star Trek or any other thing that you were involved in? Oh, oh my gosh. Um, let's see, on the show, we had some interesting guest stars. We had the, um, the prince, who is now the king of Jordan, was on there as an extra in a scene that I was in, which is very interesting to have royalty you know, next to you in a scene. It's like, oh my god. Um, and. Um, Oh, the comedian Andy Dick, he was pretty funny uh, when he was on our show. Um, so we've had quite a few nice uh, guest stars throughout the years, so those are fun. When any they come embarrassing up. moments that you have? Um, you mean on the show or yeah. like anywhere? Yeah. Okay, my most embarrassing fan moment was probably um, about 12 years ago in Birmingham, here in the UK. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. It is the only time that I have ever been Hit, uh, physically accosted by a fan this woman came up to me and she was in a wheelchair basically and she wheeled her chair up to me and she flung herself on the table and shimmied up and she grabbed my shirt and pulls it up and she says I like your shirt and I'm like oh <laughs> thank you and then she looks at me with this and she's drunk I can smell alcohol in her breath and she looks at me with these seductive eyes and she says will you be my after dinner mint and I go oh my gosh and I look at her and I go <laughs> I go no 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 I'm sorry I have a girlfriend and literally in two seconds her eyes went from lust to anger because I told her no, right? I, I, I turned her down and she went <gasps> and she came around and she slapped me so hard. Like everyone that was working there, my assistant, the security people, they were like, no. And I was like, no. And I got slapped. So I had like a palm print on my side of my face. And only in the UK does that happen. Nowhere else in the world do I get slapped by a fan until I come to the UK. So that was my most bizarre story. I'm surprised you wanted to come back. I know. <laughs> Never again will I come to the UK. I'm so afraid. My face still hurts. Well, I won't slap you, I promise. Okay, you promise? I promise. But you're going to follow me on Twitter, though. Definitely. Okay, good. You follow me back. I will follow.